Hello everyone, and welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. <laughs> so we're here in the Redstone testing world once again. I was checking out some of these old item elevators. The drop elevator here, the glass item elevator here, and I was playing around with some water right there. First thing I did was kind of throw some items into this to see if it actually still works. And the glass elevator was a bug for a long time, and then they made it a thing. And when we got the Bedrock Edition, it is no longer a thing, as you can see here. Items just spew out everywhere. The Dropper Vader here, because of the way Redstone works, this one actually won't um, push any items up. We'd have to redo the Redstone a little bit. But it's they're noisy and they're a pain. And there's a must, much simpler solution. So with the new mechanics implemented, we can use um, a water elevator. They're not very fast. Um, they're not as pretty looking as the glass elevators, but they do work very nicely. Let me grab my blocks back. We'll just use some quartz. And we built this over here. We had to use trap doors instead of stone um, or uh, half slabs. And let's click over and throw all this in. You watch it go across here. It will go under the trap doors and it will slowly make its way up. Um, items will bounce into half slabs now because of the bounding box or the uh, hit box that has been changed. So all of our items are collected in this hopper. We could connect this to some kind of item sorter and filter it into a storage system. Now you can sit here and we could chuck items into here, but that's a little bit of a pain. So I think we're going to make this guy right here. And to do so, you need three bits of redstone, two repeaters, one comparator, one dropper, and a few blocks to put redstone on. Now, because this isn't built into the ground, I need to build a little platform real quick. We will place our dropper here, and you would have your items feeding into here from wherever your farms are. A comparator here running into a block. We'll place blocks, catty corner like so, piece of dust. Uh, piece of dust here, repeater here, repeater here, and then a piece of redstone dust like so. We need to place one block next to this dropper and place this in subtract mode. Now, you also need to build this up like so, so the items don't go flying every which way, and we'll just make a full square so nothing glitches out. And this way everything will just fall down into the water stream. And let's jump out of the way. We collected a few of the items, throw her back in there, and if everything worked, all of these items will make their way into the hopper, and we will have 64 items. So this is pretty nice. I'm using the blue ice. It says that the items travel the fastest on it. Um, don't know. Doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. Ice, packed ice. I do know that um, having regular blocks there, the items actually won't flow underneath the trap doors. So last little bit of items coming across, 58, 64. So it is completely lossless, um, which is really nice because the dropper elevators would sometimes get items stuck in them throughout. So the other nice thing that you can use this little guy for is we could set up a deal here. Actually, I need to grab a couple of bits. And bear with me, I don't play on creative all that much, so I don't really know this screen that well. There's some sand and a cactus. So you place some sand here. We're actually going to need to get rid of these blocks and the glass. Place the cactus in like so. And then rebuild our ring just so items don't go everywhere. And you can turn this into a trash can just as easy as an item dropper. So you saw the repeater there, I collected one in my inventory, but they did spit them out. So let's just throw all these bits. And everything gets deleted very nice and easy. We can also place back in these blocks right here, 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 and one more on this side. And we can find a bucket of lava. And it'll do the same exact thing as the cactus. So where, there we go. Oh. Hold on, bear with me. Phone. If I'm good, I'll edit it. I'll edit the ringtone right out of there. <laughs> Let's see how good I am. Um, no, I don't want to talk to you right now. You'll leave a message if it's important. Um, 
I use this for overflow protection in sorting systems and stuff like that. Lava is dangerous as if you're digging around in your base you could accidentally open it up. A cactus is a little more forgiving. So your choice on which one you want to use but it is a very nice system. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's jump back up here I'll show you guys just it, it works the exact same obviously. Uh, you could spit it out onto the ground and let the items despawn, but, uh, you know, eventually that'll cause too much lag. But there it is, little circuit right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful, and I will see you on the next one.